Hello everyone, today on Home Side Do I, we're going to go over bolts, metric versus English, and what the difference are. We're not going to take a deep dive into metallurgy, but just so you can quickly pick up a bolt and know is it metric or is it inch. So with that, let me show you what we got. Okay, so here we have a basic bolt you would buy at any hardware store. It's just a standard old bolt, nothing special about it, not heat treat or anything. Then we move up to a grade 5. Now all of these are 5 16 bolts. This is a grade 5 bolt. You'll see the three, slot, the three marks on the top of it there. And here is a grade 8. Now they're different pitches. But the actual grade of the bolt, which is the heat treat, is what we're after here. And I'll put a chart that kind of breaks down the bolts, the strength, and everything. But the focus of this really is not as much of how strong is each bolt, is that there are differences, and each one has a, you know, a, a different design. Now these are standard inch bolts. Metric bolts, when they go for grades, you can see here where it says class 10.9 and it's actually marked on the top 10.9 so that's one quick way to see that okay there is a difference here and the same way with this bolt this is a class 8.8 .8, and this will all be in the chart that I put in this video each bolt has a class it'll, which means how much load it'll take its shear strength you know general how do we use the bolt so each bolt has a design purpose you wouldn't want to take just an every common bolt you wouldn't want to take any normal common day bolt and use it let's say in a part of your engine that typically has a grade 8 bolt and it, it definitely will not perform the same if you were going to err on the wood side of safety, always use the grade 8. You won't get in trouble if you use too strong of a bolt. But if you don't use a strong enough bolt, you definitely can have some issues. So with that, let me show you the chart. So on this side of the chart, you see the US bolts, the grade 5 and the grade 8 we talked about. And on this side is the metric bolts we talked about. You can see the difference. So the other thing bolts have different about them is the pitch. So you'll see, uh, Jamaica pin, wouldn't you know it? So if you look at how many threads, and it, it's created by how many threads per inch, you'll see a thing that says TPI. How many threads per inch that the screw has. So this screw, now these are both 5 16 screws. This is at 18 threads per inch. This one's 24 threads per inch. Very critical that just because you have a 5 16 bolt, you have fine and you have coarse threads. Typically, so typically you'll hear this uh, fine thread sometimes called as a machine screw. So you have to make sure that if you go buy a 5 16 bolt that you would know do I have a fine thread or a coarse thread. Well luckily most of the hardware stores have a bolt chart you can actually screw it into a nut and see. But this is across all sizes of bolts. Whether it's a zero or a two inch bolt, there's fine and there's coarse. Now some of them are more common than others but for the most part, always look for you know, coarse or fine thread. So there's different grades, there's different pitch, okay. and then there's also inch versus metric. And then later we'll get into Allen heads. They're also the same way. There's metric 
there's fine, there's coarse, but for your standard hex head bolts, you know, grade, and you can also get these in stainless steel, you can get them in galvanized, there's different platings, but the part I'll caution you on is that a stainless bolt is not as strong as a steel bolt. It'll last better depending on where you have it. It won't corrode obviously, but it will not have the same strength. So don't think you're going to pull out a standard like a grade 5 bolt and put a stainless bolt in there and it'll last longer. It may not corrode as fast, but that doesn't mean it's as strong. You might cause a failure because of the weaker bolt. Okay, that's Holmes. How do I? We covered bolts, different grades. Remember, there's different materials, different pitches. So when you go to the hardware store, use that little thread chart where you screw it into and get the exact type because there's a lot of metric bolts that look just like an as inch standard bolts. They're almost there, but if you start to screw it in, you get about a threaded two in, and that starts getting tight, that means you probably either have a metric and an inch combination, whether it's the wrong nut or the wrong bolt, or the wrong screw. So if you enjoy these tips or tricks, please leave me some comments below, and we'll see you on the next tip. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.